If you have purchased a central storage device like the QNAP NAS servers, you probably will want to learn how you properly configure the SMB and NFS services in order for your media players to be able to pull content from them. So what I'm going to show you today is how you configure both SMB and NFS properly uh, for those media players. So the first things that we would be doing is actually making sure that the network services are up and running. So the Microsoft network is default normally on and you can see you can enter a name here which we did is Anaconda and the work group is standard. So for the NFS service we just click uh, two steps below and make sure that the uh, enable NFS server is ticked on uh, if not selected and click on apply. Now, this is all you need to do to make sure that SMB and NFS are available. However, it does not mean that your players currently can access the server using NFS. So what you still need to do is go to Access Right Management and check your shared folders. Now, you can see at the left all the shared folders are located here. And at the right you can see a lot of icons which actually uh, hold SMB and NFS. Now the yellow folder is the one with SMB. In our case the multimedia files are located under Mpedia. So this is the share that we actually will configure for both SMB and NFS. So for SMB you can click this yellow folder here with your hand holding it and click on it and then have a uh, standard users that you created on the NAS to have access to them. However, we also have guest access right and this will mean you don't have to enter a username or password on the media player in order for the media player to access the content inside this folder. So let's go ahead now and select the guest access right to read only. So this will enable read only access on SMB. Now if you want to make sure that a user account is used you can create any user on your NAS and make sure it's ticked here for instance like my name I created an account hijack and then allowed read and write if later on I would configure this account on the media player it will be having read and write access onto the Mpedia share located on my NAS so we're just gonna apply here knowing that we have enabled guest access for read only now we want to uh, enable NFS on the media share which is in our case the MPDA folder so we're just gonna click on the NFS button that uh, corresponds with the MPDA folder by default the QNAP has denied access to everything as you can see here by this little star now I must explain a little bit about how you go about configuring NFS Usually in every network there are different uh, devices connected like PCs, NAS servers, uh, you got a bunch of media players and stuff like that. When connected on the network they usually start with the same range of IP addresses. For instance if I want to uh, share data with one system only it would be suffice to just enter the IP address of this one system. So this means whatever device has the IP address 192.168.1.6 will be able to connect over NFS to my data and have no limit so it can read and write. We can change this to read only which means whatever device has IP address 192.168.1.6 can only read the data and cannot delete or add data to the share. Of course what we could do as well is just deny access on this IP address. Now what I want to do is give it no limit since the several players have the ability to delete files uh, once you have watched them so I think this is fairly easy. Be careful though with kids uh, in the household they could easily press uh, the wrong buttons and this could delete your data. Now I want to open the NFS on QNAP to all the devices that are currently on my network which means we have several PCs we have several media players and instead of entering the IP addresses all separately like this we are just gonna change the last number into a star now this actually means whatever 
device on my network starts with IP address 192.168.1 will be allowed to connect to the NFS service. Now it doesn't matter whatever IP address you get as long as these first uh, numbers are exactly the same. So we're just going to click apply here and this means we have actually enabled NFS and it's accessible on our network to all other devices connected to the same IP range. Fairly easy, but still we got to show you now how you actually connect to it with a media player.